Official anime stickers can be hard to find. And when you do find them, they normally come from one supplier, Abbey Style, and they come in packs just like these. And depending on which series you're looking at, they'll range from about $5 to $10. And inside these, you'll get about 5 or 10 stickers. Now that is not a lot of stickers. <laughs> but what's the alternative? And are they any good? Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twisted Geek. The alternative is well-known websites such as AliExpress, Wish.com and Timu. Now AliExpress has a lot of stickers and decals, just like the ones you see here on my computer, and I think they look really cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Today though, we'll be looking at Timu and their sticker packs. We'll be comparing the quality of the print, the feel and how well they work in comparison to Abbey Style. I ended up buying five packs from Timu, four packs of 50, ranging from 139 to 199, and one pack of 100 at 299. The total of these were less than $11 for 300 stickers. So let's get to testing these stickers compared to the Abbey Style ones. So first up, we have to have a look at the packaging. Now we can see a big difference straight away here in the Abbey Style ones in comparison to the ones from Timu. These are very well branded with all the logos and everything on them, barcodes as well as the little hanging sections so shop owners can actually hang them up on shelves and rails to make them a little more easily accessible for everyone else. With these, we get a total of nine of the My Hero Academia and we get eight of the Sailor Moon. Through the packet, which I'll open in a moment, you can kind of see that these are actually a gloss sticker. And at the moment, I can't quite tell when you're looking at around them is if that's going to be a clear back sticker or if it's going to be white. I think it's more likely going to be a white border, but we will see as we open them. One thing I will say is quality wise, these things are absolutely spot on for quality. Print is really high quality. Everything down to stuff like the gradients there in the My Heat Right Demo logo, all nice, crisp, and clean. It's exactly the same when we come over to the Sailor Moon one. You can see how much detail there is in that logo and in all the characters. Every line is crisp, clear, and sharp. There's literally no issues at all that I can see regarding the print quality. Slightly difficult to open. Where we go, we see there's this two separate sheets. And this, if you can see there on the screen, there you see the of the light and all that. That, that is actually a glossy sticker. I am going to have a quick look and lift. And I don't know if you can see that there. This is actually clear back stickers. So when they're actually applied to whatever item it's going to be, wherever you're going to put them, you won't see a horrible white board around them. You'll just see the color itself. So this is really cool. I do actually like the clear back stickers. And I do really actually like these clear stickers. I think they really do add to the effect and the overall look and aesthetics of when you put them on somewhere. So you can put them on like say a glass side panel on your computer screen or something like that and they would still look perfect. Again, same with the My Hero Academia ones, very shiny. And save again, it is the clear back. Now looking at the Timo ones, these seem to be more of a matte or a semi-gloss finish. Uh, this is normally known as silk. The quality of these as per the Abbey style actually look really high quality. Even if you look at all the captain singers there from Bleach, each one is nice crisp. And there's no real issues there, but we'll get a closer look at that as we open them up and see all the gradients. So let's open a couple of these, and I'll show you a couple of these on each set. So we know it's not kind of an issue per one is going to be really nice, and the rest might not be. But we'll go through all of them. So let's have a look. For example, that looks like it's of Kurosaki Ichigo there. There's like a lot of detail in that, like a lot of tiny detail going down to the, the writing on the side there. And again, you see, look at all the gradients and all that in there. And that's the motto. And these overall, dropping them everywhere. There's con there as well. So these are definitely a very crisp and clean print. And there's a lot of quality there. You can see all the lines, all the details. But there is something else that we, can, we will bring up in a moment. And we go on to the, the 100 ones of Studio Ghibli. Again, these all look really cool. And just Mononoke, that looks of it. Kiki's Delivery Service. So there's lots of different styles in here as well. And I think this is going to be one of the perfect ones to show you there. Uh, Totoro. And look at all the extra detail and attention to detail. Every little section that's in there. The wood grain, you can see it all. That is actually really cool. Some of the things we have to talk about when mentioning print quality is the inks. 
And a lot of this will be assumption based on what I've known in the print industry and what normally would be one way to cut corners that could actually reduce the cost of things down. And that was the inks itself. Now, official inks, for example, see if you're looking at stuff like your Epson printers and stuff like that, official ink cartridges are very expensive, but they have a few big benefits to them, especially if they're going to be on stuff like stickers and they're going to be for outdoor use and direct sunlight. These inks are normally kind of have a, a more of a UV filter to them, which allows them to last longer in direct sunlight. This could be sometimes anywhere between five and 10 years. And this is why people get them kind of things done for their outdoor signs for the business and so on, because that'll actually last before the stock color starts fading. So you end up getting the unofficial ones. They normally, unfortunately, smell a lot more. And one thing you might not notice straight away is the color will fade faster, especially in sunlight. These will fade really fast in direct sunlight. I can only assume with the Timu ones and of course the price in comparison to the Abbey style ones, I think the Abbey style ones are going to last a long, long time in direct sunlight. Though you don't really want to put them in direct sunlight because this will drastically reduce the cost of the print, the cost of the ink used. Yes, you might not really see too much of a quality difference because uh, some of the printers will still be using will be high quality printers like Mackies and Epsons and Rollins, all this kind of thing. But the ink they use can cause that issue of sun damage very fast. Now, I don't really see this as being an issue. It's just something that I wanted to point out to you so you just know that there's a chance that these are going to fade faster than these. If we go just based on value, I think it's very clear who wins this. Yes, they might be using a light, slightly lower quality ink, but the ones from Timu still are really high quality stickers, very high detailed, really nice to cut. And I do quite like personally this matte kind of silk finish compared to the full gloss. But that again is just more personal preference than anything else. But if you're looking like sticker bomb something and put loads of stickers down and use loads, Timo's definitely the way to go. And a lot of these are going to go to my daughter. I'm just going to have loads of fun, just sticking all our books up and everything else she wants. Of course, as long as it's not the walls or something. <laughs> and that'll be my fault, but hey. So we're going to get onto some tests. And of course, one of the tests that I can't do is direct sunlight, because that's going to take months, if not years, to show any kind of degradation into it. So then it's going to be a lot harder. And, yeah. and basically, me and you don't really want to wait that long for that kind of test. But there's other tests we can do to check how well these stickers actually work in comparison to each other. First test is very simple. How well does it stick? And typically when you're going to be stickering some of that, a lot of people will actually like say their lunch boxes will sticker them up and just basically make them look a lot nicer, a lot more fun, especially for kids. So I've got a few different ones. I've got a few different style of lids. I've got a circle one with more indent there with a bit more bump. We'll see how it does over that. A standard takeaway kind of lid from your Chinese and Korean stuff up. And as well as this normal Tupperware lid. Each one is slightly different, some slightly different textures on it. I thought these would be ideal to test both the Abbey style and the Timo ones together. And we'll see how well they go over curve, see how well they stick fully on, see if they seem to like lift up a little bit straight away or not. But let's take a closer look and see how well these stick on. So I am going to pick three from three different sets of stickers for the Timo one. We've got Tanjiro for the Dio Slayer ones. We've got Kiki's Delivery Service, and we've got Toshiro Hitsugaya from Bleach. I want to make sure that I'm using different packs, just in case there's a fault of one pack or not. It's, it's best just to broaden the spectrum so we can have a proper look. So we've got all the stickers all lit at all over here. Uh, yes, my keyboard's in the way, but I'm still kind of using that at the moment as well as we go. We're going to see how well these peel. That peels very easy. Not super sticky, so this could potentially be an issue. All right, so this is the one where we're going to try it actually over the fold and see how well it does. I'm going to stick that down like that. And just kind of really try to get in there, into here without actually destroying the sticker too much. I'm not expecting much from this because there is a lot of bumps on here and the stickers aren't really designed for that, but we'll, we'll still want to see how well they work. So there is Tanjiro on, and we'll go for a cat here from Sailor Moon. And we'll do the same thing again. These feel about the same stickiness, maybe slightly more stickier than the Tanjiro one, but let's see how well this does as well. Now this one, already definitely not as sticky. Not for all these curves anyway, but that could just be a one-off. It's sticking, it seems to be okay signal here. Maybe there's not enough hang, overhang to this bit, but it's not quite sticking. And you can see there it's coming straight back off again, I reckon. Next, we'll do the green one. It's only got a slight lip in the middle. Let's see how well it does over this only slight lip section. On this one, we'll use Kiki's delivery service directly over the top of that, and that seems to stick down very well. I can feel the little bumps underneath it, 
It's not really worrying about that at all. All sides are down. Similarish kind of size. Let's go the Atsui, Sui, something like that's just called. I'm terrible with the names and remember them properly, but over that bump, which we can see there. So now, so the Abbey style one is also going down just as well as the Timu one. Personally, the Abbey style one looks so much better. I think this is really cool. I love, as I said before, I, I love the, the transparency around it. Team one is still really good quality. But it's just, just this is just nice. I do like that. And then lastly, there's a little bump in the middle, but we're going to go either side where it is fully flat and see how it works on there. We'll get Toshiro again. Again, nice and easy. That goes down extremely well. No issues at all. And we'll plonk him on there right there. Both of these, no issues. I will say my personal opinion again is that the Abbey style one is definitely winning out if you're looking for overall quality. Yes, Toshiro still looks awesome, looks cool. It's clear background we've got on Deco and just how vivid them colours are. So as these are essentially like lunchbox lids and things like that, these are going to get lots of food on them. It's never built that you're going to spill mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, whatever it's going to be, onto your lunchbox. So that's what we need to test next and see how well they handle the spillage of your food. Look how messy we are and ready to eat sandwiches and things. We've got it all over the shop. And lastly, just for good measure, a little bit of sweet chili. Again, let's just dollop this on. Yeah, man. All over there. Get it all over. Go we're messy. We can't eat properly. We've not been taught properly. We'll just get it all over ourselves. We we'll just love to. We we'll just enjoy with food too much. We're enjoying it way too much. I'll let that sit just for a little bit. And then we go on to step three washing. But I think it's definitely. Nicely on there, all the different ones. Bit of mustard, bit of sweet chili, mayonnaise, tomato ketchup. Some of the more typical things, of course, you would end up having in sandwiches and things, which would go all over your boxes and your stickers. So it has been about 10 minutes. They've all sat on there quite long, so it's going to get the kind of warm water going on here before it gets too hot. And we're just going to see how well these all hold up underneath here. So we'll just do a quick rinse first and see what happens. To rinse it all off because this is not going to be the easiest i'm trying to do this with one hand since i don't want to drop the phone i think that's all off but the sticker itself is definitely coming off there that one is holding out a little bit not enough that, that's also coming off so for the green top of work we'll do the same thing let's rinse that off as best we can give it a good rub give it a good scrub Get all the different bits off. And without realising, I lost 10, you know, he's gone. <laughs> there we go, that's all off. See a little bit of stain there on Kika's delivery service, which is to be expected from the mustard. And finally, the flat Tupperware, the last one there. Let's go over this, get all of these bits off, give them a quick rub, see how well they stay on, if anything else comes off or not. All right, let's get these all dried up. We'll get back over to the computer and we'll take a closer look of what's happened since doing this rinse test as well. Dried them up a bit, there's still of course a few bits there. Tanjiro came fully off and essentially the stickiness is more or less gone other than maybe the top part. And this one is very easily coming off as well. Both of them did not do very well on any kind of curves and bends there, which are a little bit too harsh, which I think is to be expected, but we had to do a test just to make sure that was actually working like that. Next up on the green top away, it looked like there was some stain here on uh, Kiko's delivery service. If you look very closely, there is a slight stain in the cloud in the white part, but there's actually not too much there. I'm not seeing, seeing any stain on Froppy there on the Abbey style one. I'm going to take a closer look at myself. There is, looks like there's slight on her glove. There's some slight stain there, but overall, these are still stuck down solidly. They're not coming off at all. They don't feel wet, so nothing's actually got fully underneath it. So we can sort of see it in time that stains and that will actually appear a lot more on where you've actually dropped or spilled stuff. But overall, I think that was a really good test. That worked really well on this one. And I think there's a slight, very slight stain Toshiro there regarding the mustard. On Deco, I can't say anything on Midoriya. There's nothing there at all on Midoriya. They still look really crisp, really clean. And they're both holding up. They're not peeling 
they're not flicking off the water has done nothing to them which is to be expected because most uh, like sticker vinyls and stuff that do have kind of like a outside waterproof coating so they actually can last outside in the rain when they're on signs and things like that so this is totally perfect for that no issues at all so that's the test done and that kind of didn't go the way i was thinking it was going to go i thought for sure that the team ones would peel off at least under the warm water would come off not just the same one on that more awkward kind of lid i thought straight away the team ones would stain much more easily uh, and then would scratch or something would fade something would go wrong in the color on doing the wash test and stuff like that but these did not both of them held up remarkably i would say slightly the abbey style one took the lead just on the fact of this awkward lid where this is actually still quite sticky and i think it could be with stick, stick or something else but so it wouldn't last as long whereas the tanjiro one is more or less gone so it basically comes down to what you're looking for and what you're actually going to use these for timo is definitely better value for money you get so many more stickers a lot more different variety you can actually get from them uh, they're a whole lot cheaper as well massively cheaper quality is actually really good and really high the abbey style ones yes the quality is a bit better on that you're probably going to get a lot more durability in say direct sunlight and things like that the colors are a lot more vibrant more vivid and in your face i think this works for the anime kind of style but they are a lot more expensive and you get a hell of a lot more less stickers for it now eight and nine stickers per pack compared to 50 for a more or less like a 10 for a fifth of the price it's just absolutely ridiculous but to me if you're going to be using these for say laptop that's always on the go your lunch boxes and maybe even windows and things like that and cars i think the abbey style ones are definitely the way to go i think these will definitely give you a lot more durability and a lot more overall lifespan on them but if you're not too worried about that and you want a hell of a lot more variety then timo is definitely the way to go so thank you for watching i hope this has been informative and helpful to you and it's definitely definitely made me feel hungry all in condiments i want some food so i'm going to get a snack or two or three or i'll just read the cupboard and see what happens but my name's daniel this has been twisted geek and if you actually enjoyed this video please leave a like down below because it really helps the channel out and if it has been helpful, go on, maybe press that little subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, so that'll notify you of more upcoming random videos of testing out anime stuff, figures, my obsession that is cute poskets, and so much more. Hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.